So, hello and a very warm welcome to everyone joining us here. The go. Now have one win in the bag already with a 3-2 victory over Austria. Also in the same group game. A number of players to watch out for the number nine Zomers, especially. The attacking players in a front four that does like to mix things up a bit. And Lena Obadov and Elisa Sen, the break certainly gave them something to work with in the second half, but Horst Rubisch making it very clear he'd win. There is Jule Brandt. Doesn't have a lot of space to work with, but manages to visit across the face of goal. Leo Schuller at the full stretch, just can't get there. Tempted a shot from distance, ball comes back to Julia Gwynn, does well to stay on her feet. And a lovely ball into Leia Schuller, and what a start for Germany. No one picking up the number seven in the middle. Had all the time in the world, and she's already shown time and time again just how good she is in the air. And another fine example of that there again. Beautifully placed header. Heads it back across the goalkeeper and into the far corner. Lovely technique. Credit to Julia Gwynn as well to keep the move going. Once the shot's blocked here, Gwynn picks it up and then does really well to shrug off the challenge. First time ball in over the top, just on side. Leah Schuller there. The manager getting exactly the reaction he wanted from his players was really disappointed with their start against Austria. Berger had it covered all the way. To the middle. Quite on the same page with her teammate, but danger not over yet. For Iceland, as Germany keep not many remaining patient. Not a bad through ball there. Oh, chance for Iceland to level things up there. Le France on the bench, the usual number one. Germany with their first corner, not a bad delivery. Whipped in towards that near game. It's a decent cross, and what a chance that was there. It's the central defender, Sigurar Dottier. Oh, lovely little dink over the top for Iceland there. No one able to latch onto it as it sort of bobbled its way. It's one of the secret weapons that they have in their locker. That should. They try and play their way forward again. What a bad delivery. All over the top. Visitors coming forward now. Here's Zomers. A bad ball in towards the back post. And Iceland have their equaliser. And it's Lynn Eriks dot it. No one picking her up at the back post. A little fortunate for the ball to come her way in the end. Came past a few bodies. And then still had quite the angle to work with. And that was not part of the game plan for Horst Rubisch, that's for sure. And they play their way forward really nicely. Bit of a misplaced pass there from uh, Svendis Jana Jonsdottir. When it comes to Zomers, she only has one thing on her mind, and that is try and pick out a teammate in the middle, and it's even through the legs of Anne Katrinberger. That's really unfortunate. Likely in terms of scoring goals, but Iceland have grown into it, and that equaliser will certainly help their cause as well. Svendis Jana Jonsdotter is brought down on the halfway line by Katrin Hendrich, and she will be the first player to go into the referee's book, picking up a yellow card for her troubles from the defender. 
It's Clara Buhl. What a bad cross in. Difficult take there for Nuska to uh, sort of scoop her left leg around the ball as it was played in just a little behind her. Fence out wide to Buhl. As well to create the space for the header. And then uh, Leah Schuler climbing above the defender. Just can't possible, probably for Iceland, of course. Not only for the fact that they uh, are now without one of their better players. Never mind. Leah Schuler missing the header moments ago, makes up for it, and then some moments later with an excellent header. Great run as well. Darting in front of the defender. Expecting the delivery. Knew exactly where it was coming to. And then glances it past the keeper and into the back of the net. It's a superb delivery from Clara Boot. The quality of the goals at international level. And 38 goals in as many games for the Bayern Munich forward. Excuse me, 38 goals in 50. Gwyn. Pretty sure she was trying to pick out Nuskin. So fizz past her and then very nearly caught the Iceland keeper a little. Uh... A lovely ball. Jule Brandt. Just didn't get quite enough angle on that cutback. A little too close. Germany taking the lead again in that time. With a great delivery. Well, Nuskin got close and then Clara Buhl. Arriving just in behind, couldn't control. Good hold up play. Not nearly, only one touch football danger, not over here though. Lovely low drive there from Clara Buhl, knowing knew exactly what she was doing there. Looking for that bottom right. Just opening things up out to the left. Clara Buhl looking to dance her way through for Clara Buhl. She make the most of it. Lovely footwork. The other game in this group. Should be a... So, deliveries have been on point. Here this evening, it's another great cross. And another chance for Germany, and they've taken it. A real scramble. In front of uh, the goal mouth there. And Iceland not dealing with it. As it pinball its way around, finally landing at the feet of Elena Oberdorf, who taps it home to give Germany a two goal cushion and a 3 1 lead just before the break as well. What a great time to score for Rubesh's side. Elena Oberdorf. Getting her name on the score sheet now as well. Uh, fourth goal for Germany. And that will be the last kick of the half. A beautifully placed header. Heads it back across the goalkeeper and into the far corner. Lovely technique. Credit to Julia Gwynn as well to keep the move going. Once the shot's blocked here, Gwyn picks it up and then does really well to shrug off the challenge. First time ball in over the top, just on side, Leah Schuller there. Bit of a misplaced pass there from Sveindis Jana Jonsdottir. When it comes to Zomers, she only has one thing on her mind, and that is try and pick out a teammate in the middle, and it's even through the legs of Anne Katerinberger. That's really unfortunate. Answers it past the keeper and into the back of the net. It's 
a superb delivery from Clara Boot. And the quality 